Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Remember, if you love film, gaming, or television content, please consider clicking that subscribe button because today it is time to talk about the new film from director Noah Bombeck, White Noise. So, let's get into it. For the first time in a long time, I basically went into this movie blind. I remember seeing the trailer while just doing something else, and I just wasn't crazy excited about this. I was purely going into this because this is Noah Baumbach's follow-up to Marriage Story, which I think is a genuine masterpiece and is one of the best screenplays ever written. Also, the fact that this is starring one of my favorite actors in Adam Driver, who is coming off of films like the aforementioned Marriage Story, as well as Annette, which is another film that I genuinely think is a masterpiece. I naturally went to White Noise for those reasons. Pretty big shoes to fill. The marketing for this has been kind of bad, and the middling reviews did not help my excitement at all, but at the end of the day, I have now seen White Noise, and I am glad to say that it is truly amazing. I can understand why there might be some divisiveness here, because it is not your standard Bombac picture. It presents a lot of ideas, and there is a lot to digest, but I think the way it handles that was superb. I mean, where do I even start? There is just so much here. I think the first thing that I have noticed is a lot of comparisons to something like I'm Thinking of Ending Things, which is a pretty great film in its own right, but I think it's a pretty bad comparison to be honest. While I'm Thinking of Ending Things is very abstract in its presentation, White Noise is a lot more direct and I think I much preferred that to be honest. The biggest thing that White Noise wants to show us is our own fear of our morality. It's something that is pretty much on everyone's subconscious, our fear of the inevitable death, and sometimes it comes through in bursts and it makes us all very afraid. White Noise puts that to the forefront and brings that question to life in some very interesting ways and presents a lot of metaphors in the process. Noah Bombach's direction is maybe the most stylish that I have ever seen from him. In his filmography, I have only seen While We're Young and Marriage Story, and I guess I've seen about a quarter of the Merowitz stories. This is so much different, as he usually relies a lot on the power of his screenplay to deliver a moving film, but in this he utilizes stylistic choices that were very interesting. This captures the vibes of a classic 70s or 80s film, to the point where you probably couldn't even distinguish the two. I mean, even small things like product placement, which I think was an aspect in a lot of those films that people have forgotten, especially in something like Close Encounters, having that attention to detail in White Noise is just really nice to see and captured a distinct feel for this film, and it also helped with some of the other messaging that it wanted to tell. This is shot on an anamorphic 35mm, which another notable film that was shot the same was the original Halloween. I think in White Noise, it looks gorgeous. Every shot was beautiful, especially in the third act where it captured a lot of noir vibes. And honestly, I never thought Bombac had it in him to make a film look this stylish. It's so beautiful. Then there is the screenplay, which is the thing that gave him prominence as a director in the first place. The screenplay is showy and brilliant, it gives the ensemble so much to work with, and the natural progression of the storytelling just keeps you engaged throughout its 2 hour and 15 minute runtime. Speaking of ensemble, this features some truly terrific performances starting with Adam Driver. Him and Noah Baumbach are kind of a dream team to be honest. They just bring out the best in each other and they are just fantastic collaborators and that just continues on here. After seeing this, I came to a realization. I personally think Leonardo DiCaprio is the greatest actor of all time, but you know, he's not as active anymore. I think out of right now in the past five years or so, Adam Driver has just turned himself into the best actor working right now and has moved up to being my favorite currently. He just does not give a bad performance. He brings so much life to every film he's in and he can just do it all. I just had sex, I'm about to eat nachos! 
the greatest moment of my life. You want a fantastic drama performance? Boom, you've got Marriage Story. You want something that has him be a villain? Boom, you've got The Last Jewel. You want a blockbuster that's going to make over a billion dollars in the box office? You have the sequel Star Wars trilogy. Comedies, musicals, he's in the Dead Don't Die, he gives a fantastic performance there. And Annette was one of the greatest performances in a musical I have ever seen. He continues this red hot streak he's on by combining a lot of the things that make him a brilliant performer in this. He adds humor to this. He has a couple of monologues that capture your attention. And he has one moment that does feel similar to the iconic scene in Marriage Story that was just heartbreaking. We also have Greta Gerwig who I think nails her role. I also love the way that Bombax seemed to lovingly shoot his own wife here in Greta Gerwig. The collaboration just feels so wholesome and I love it. She goes for more of a deadpan performance to a comedic one and then to a dramatic one and I think she just does well in all three elements. The one scene that I mentioned with Adam Driver, I mean, it takes two to tango, and she is right there just killing each word of dialogue that Bombak has written for her on screen. I would say for criticism's sake that the children in this were a little inconsistent. Sometimes they were really good, and sometimes they were just kind of annoying. So if I have to say something bad about this film, it would be those child performances. But... I am not done with the performances because Don Cheadle plays an important part in this and he communicates a lot of the messaging and he does a great job of it. It's hard for me to break down everything about this because I've only seen it the one time and I think this is something that takes at least two viewings for everything to marinate, but I have to say what it does is impressive. Also, this genre bends a lot. It goes from being a fun family comedy to a horror to a War of the Worlds or Close Encounters type movie, to a drama, to a noir. It even hits moments of being a musical. They all do so well in capturing your attention. And it makes me want to see what Bombat can do in each of these genres individually in their own separate films. On one last extra note that I want to talk about is the original song from LCD Sound System. I don't know if it will get Oscar nominated because... This just seems like such a daring and creative film that it will probably get overlooked by the Oscars. Don't get me wrong, I do love the Oscars. I love watching them every year and it's something I very much look forward to watching every year. But let's be honest, they don't go for films like this. However, I think the song should definitely be nominated because it is a banger. The way it's placed in the film is also perfect and it might be one of the best sequences in the whole picture. It would be my pick to take home the Oscar easily. For other Oscars, this has pretty much next to no chance of getting nominated or winning, unless it can somehow sneak into adapted screenplay, which is turning out to be kind of an open-ended category. If I was picking the nominations, this would easily get in and it would get nominated for so much more because I think this is only a tad weaker than Marriage Story, which is still very high territory. Overall, White Noise is just one of those films that I, I just feel so passionate about and I'm so glad that Noah Baumbach just still has it. Things like this just reconfirm my love of cinema and yes, if you can see it in a theatre, please do. This is coming to Netflix at the end of the year and I think that this is something that's worth seeing on the big screen. I highly recommend White Noise. It is so much better than what I thought it would be and it is just bursting with creativity. I am very, very close to bumping this up to a 5 out of 5, but to be honest, I feel like as of late I've been overly generous with my scores lately. So I will be actively restraining myself a little in the future. If I am really excited to watch this, you know, a year from now, I will probably change that score. But as of right now, I'm going to stick with a four and a half out of five just to be safe. I really think though that this is one of the best of the year. At the end of this day, the score does not matter because if it's something that's worth watching, that's all you need to know. And this definitely is. It's honestly in my top 10 for the entire year. Seriously, even if you aren't crazy passionate about films, 
just for something different to watch, this is a fun one to watch as it presents a good challenge intellectually. Anyway, thank you so much for watching the video. If you have seen White Noise, tell me what you think about it in the comments below. I'm honestly just so happy that I saw this and I'm extremely surprised at how incredible this is. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.